Okay, I thought I'd document this real quick here. So, I was thinking it was a dirty switch. And uh, as you can see, well, we know the lid was always thinking it was closed, right? Which is why it would spin, even though the lid was open. Yeah, because we have continuity. Now watch this. I think the switch itself is physically broken. Because I can raise that like that. Continuity's gone. I think the switch itself, see how it won't pop back up? The switch itself is bad. That's going to cause an issue. Okay, I thought I would just document this real quick. This is going to be hard to see, but yes, the switch is up and the switch does work. If you push it down barely, it's fine. As soon as you push it in, that's it. It's done. Now watch this though. If I take the pliers and I just squeeze on the end. Oops, 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 oops. And bend the shit out of the leg, which wasn't supposed to happen, but that's okay. It's because I'm looking through the camera. No big deal. Okay, switch is out. If I push the switch in, it's stuck in. It's definitely stuck in. All right. So it's not that side. If I flip it over, and yes, I tried cleaning it. Okay, so no, it is this way. It is definitely this way. Line shot there. Oh, it already came out. <laughs> It'd be easier if I did it from the other side. Sorry, this is just so hard to work with and get this on film. It doesn't matter. So if I squeeze, boom, it pops out. You see that? I did that with my, just by squeezing it with my finger. Look, it's stuck in. Boom. It comes out just like that. Pushed in. Squeeze. Boom. It pops out. There's something internally wrong with this. I'm going to try to dismantle this. This is going to be ridiculous. I don't even know why I'm attempting this, but they put it together. It can be taken apart. I tried to lubricate it, but it, that's just not going to happen. Boom. You can probably hear that. I'm going to go back to see if I can hear that. Okay, I thought I'd document this too. Uh, I ended up not pulling it apart, but it seems like the more lubrication I put on, the better it gets. Now, I was working with it with the tweezers. <laughs> I gotta show you this. <laughs> I, it, it's just my luck, right? Sometimes it happens, I was squeezing it with the plier, and don't you know, it pops out of the tweezers, up over my shoulder into the garbage i had to pull the entire garbage apart to find it way down there in the bottom that little tiny switch and i mean there are hundreds of caps and q-tips and <laughs> a bottom but i did find it thank god because you know where are you going to find an exact match for this pin switch not a clue but i did find it and uh yeah, it looks like the more I work it, it looks like the more I work it, the more it wants to work. So that's what I'm going to continue to do until I get it right. Just, just keep working it. Yeah, I don't know if it's like gummed up or if like something was spilled in it, which it could have because that was the lid. So. You know, something must be in it that's stopping it. So, yeah, but it does seem to be getting better. 
now it's just getting worse. Okay, what the hell's going on here? You just seen it was working, no problem. Yeah, okay. I'm just gonna keep I'm just gonna keep working with this and see what I can get to happen. Cause I really don't want to tear it apart, but if I have to, ugh. Okay, I don't have much time left, but I did get it open and uh whoa, okay. This is not for the faint of heart here. Uh Uh, I don't even know how if I'm going to be able to show that. There is a little tiny switch down there. That little, it's attached to this. It comes around this way, around this. Oh, yeah, this is like impossible to show. This is ridiculous. Yeah, I almost wish I didn't take this apart because this is nasty. That is so small. The only thing I can do is hopefully put that back together and get that switch back on there properly. I think that's what was holding it up. I know this is going to be impossible to film. So let me get it back together and see what happens. Okay, as far as I can tell, that's right. So I had it back together and I took it back apart for you guys so you can see. That little, obviously, switch right there. right there right when you press down on this it presses oh, I don't even know what you want to call it the spring and I guess a switch into that there and then it's supposed to release it and I think that this right here was out of whack it was over here and I finally got it back in place um is going to be tough guys because this is I mean this is so small so let me get this back on here alrighty I freed some space up here and uh, I got it I got it it shouldn't even be it shouldn't even stick anymore if it does it's going to make me a liar. So, uh, looks like we're good. So, just to show you that we're good, let me grab, um, let me grab the clip leads. I don't know. I know this is tough to, whoops. This is tough to do just because it's just so fucking small. One clip lead on. The other clip lead on. Like, and even just, I mean, it's so small, the clip leads almost want to touch each other, just, you know, just even coming close to each other. So I'm going to try to hold this. And you'll, you'll be able to hear it, but. perfect oh man I had a heart attack with this one at first I lost it <laughs> I had to dig through the garbage to find it then I had to open it I had to readjust that spring and everything that is not for the faint of heart taking apart that switch perfect Whew. okay well let's get this back in the board and then uh, we'll continue on Okay, switch back in. Let's get rid of the clip leads. Now that it's in, it should be no continuity. Good, good. I should be able to press it. Come on. Oh, are you kidding me? Whoops, am I doing something wrong here? There we go. Sorry, I was just slipping. 
I was going to say, please don't tell me I put that back and it's wrong. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, I was just slipping. My meter was losing it there for a second. Okay, good stuff. Okay, good stuff. Good stuff, good stuff, good stuff. Whew. Okay, that's that. So now what are we going to do? Um, I went through and I looked at a lot of these caps and I'm sorry, they're fine. I mean, I don't see any corrosion. I know we were looking at the other board there. The actual Sega CD and Sega part of the board. But I think what we thought was corrosion is, it is, it is corrosion, absolutely. But it's not from leakage. So let me see if I can show you this here. So it was, let's get rid of that. Let's get rid of that. Let's get rid of that. I should have just took that fucking switch apart to begin with. Anyways. So right here where we thought we had leakage or corrosion. Which is this cap right here. Turns out that, uh, yeah, there's actually corrosion all across here. And I believe that is from the liquid damage because it's got that that tarnish, that gray look to it. Not leakage like corrosion leakage it's got that weird like water's leaked on it a liquid it's not from leakage because if it was i would assume if it's been leaking that long to do that then a lot of this stuff around here a lot of these traces here right would probably be like dark and the electrolytic fluid inside would have been underneath here underneath the solder mask and i don't see any of that as a matter of fact it's real clean but if you look right here see that to me looks like liquid damage not from electrolytic fluid So let's just for shits and giggles, let's get a little isopropyl alcohol here. And I can almost guarantee that a lot of that right there is going to come up. Yep. Yep, I knew it. That is not corrosion from electrolytic fluid. That is corrosion from liquid damage. And really, I, I'm pretty sure you can see just how shiny those are coming up right now. Now, if I deem this one, this, this pad here, bad then i will replace this i mean this is like what a 47 16 or something that's who cares replacing one cap is not any kind of trouble uh, i can kind of see the same thing happening back in here as well right where that chip is or was sorry this one here right near the curt slot I mean we still gotta wash the board and take care of it but we we'll gonna take care of this while we're sitting here waiting for that uh, case upstairs to dry and 
see just how bad it actually is because once you clean a plastic like that you're gonna start to see every scratch on it yeah see that to me looks a lot better now we can just touch that up That is definitely not from electrolytic damage. That is from uh, water or... I mean, it could be from, uh, what do you call it, too? Um, you know, being in a damp place. Yeah, there's no way that's electrolytic. Nope, that is definitely from other liquid. So we can we can tin those up too, make those look good. Yeah, no. Yeah, because that is all surface. There's nothing under any any one of these traces nothing at all they're they're perfect they're like brand new so maybe we're not doing a recap on this i mean maybe in the future if you guys want me to you know you can tell me hey do a recap on it maybe we can then but yeah this is this is nothing and actually this is in a lot better shape than i actually thought it was it's just the little stuff here that made it look really really bad i mean this chip way back here too that was well that was horrible but the lid switch and the, a little bit of water damage here really not that bad the worst of it is the case yeah actually that looks good Yeah, we can easily touch that up. Okay, good stuff. All right. Um, let me figure out what we're going to do next, and uh, we'll go from there. So after our first initial wash and our first initial um, go at it with Plastic Restore, it looks good. Actually, it looks really, really good. Now that greasiness there, that's going to stay on there for a while because, um, oh, see, look at, you can tell I missed a spot right there. Yeah, we're going to have to keep working at it because this was just in such bad shape that it's going to need some, it's going to need some treatment. Now, usually what I find is this plastic treatment will it will soak into the plastic and, uh, you know, really, really, really bring out what it should look like here. But yeah, it looks, uh, it looks amazing. Now, there is still a ton of scratches on it, and that's just not going to go away. That just will not happen. But, I mean, overall, it looks amazing, and I am so surprised on how well that came out yeah that is not a new piece that is the old piece but it came out absolutely amazing much better than what it looked like before but yeah you can see those scratches and I mean there's just nothing I can do about it you'll have to forgive the dust on it that is literally just from you know going at it with a uh what a paper towel here and just really getting it really rubbing it in because it needs to soak into the plastic it has to it has to it has to really got to get this in here and that's all I'm doing is literally just rubbing this in all over the place This looks absolutely amazing. The power and reset button came out really well. 
now. They didn't require any plastic uh, rejuver. They came out really well. Yeah, this is so... While we finish the rest of the hardware, this is just going to continue to soak in. And uh, once it does, then uh, it won't be so shiny, but it'll look... It'll look new. If you see my... Uh, Sega Genesis Restore, the fire damaged VA3 console, uh, you'll see just how well it comes out. This is a lot of work doing this because it gets into every little crevice and everything and you really got to buff it out. Um, after this is done, then I'll go over it with a soft cloth and get rid of all the dust that accumulates from using this, right? these are not the best for you know making it look pretty but it will it it does a good job of getting it into the plastic yeah that's uh, that's beautiful you can just see just how much I have on here and I've done all around the sides and everything everything is done here all the way across all the way around even the bottom half of the shell there has got it. Okay, so while that's doing its thing upstairs, the case there, I think it's time we start taking care of all this dust and stuff. Uh, we should, we should probably start with, uh, start with a dry brush here. And for the harder stuff, if there's anything harder, I like to use a little brush like this. All right, what that allows me to do is uh, say you got, um, let me see if I can find something around here. Okay, like the really crappy stuff right there. If that was hard to get off, let's just see how well this does. And that actually does fairly well. But let's just say, for example, it was like kind of stuck on there. Uh, what you do is you just use this and it's, it's rough, but not super rough. But I noticed that using a brush like that really, really helps. Kind of like a broom. Kind of like a mini broom. You're just sweeping it away. Just like that. So that's what we're going to do here. Now I do recommend that when you do this kind of stuff that you sweep it towards an edge that you can get it away from. You know, and the more you do this, the more it becomes light and you can literally just blow it off. Yeah, this is going to be quite simple. This is, uh, ooh. I actually thought that this was going to be a lot worse when I got it because of the shape of the board. I mean, the, uh, the case, right? Like, I mean, the case looks like it's been through the ringer. But yeah, this is all I'm going to do. I'm just going to go through here and, uh, get rid of a lot of this dust and this buildup here. Honestly, it's not a lot. Just to make it look nice and pretty and get rid of all the all the dust here. That's all we're gonna do. We should probably take care of those switches too. That's probably where the majority of the junk is. And you'll see like it picks up a it picks up a ton of stuff. Doing like this. And like I said, for the stubborn stuff, that's when you use this one here. This is coming super clean. Well, I don't have to wash this board, nothing. I tell you what though, I am super surprised at the fact that, you know, they managed to cram the Genesis side here with all these integrated circ these custom circuits here, like this and this, obviously this is the Genesis side because this is an 8 megahertz version of the 68,000. This is the 12 megahertz version. Now I could have swore the Sega CD was 12 and a half. I don't know why it's shown as the FN12 and this is the FN8. That's kind of overclocked 8 megahertz because isn't the Genesis like 7 and a half? 
but the Sega CD is 12 and a half, so I don't know if that's underclocked or if it's just not showing like what the actual thing is. Although it would be based on the crystal oscillator. So um, this one is 53, this one is 53 megahertz, 53.6931, and this one is 50. So, uh, yeah, it's probably like they, yeah, they probably have that clock down to 12. Am I wrong? Am I thinking that it's 12 and a half and really it is, it's only 12? Hmm. So there's a little bit of stuck on stuff right there. Just a little bit. Definitely clean the cart connector there. I can't believe this thing sounds good for being an integrated. I believe this. I believe this uh, three fifteen five six six zero. I believe that that does have the Z eighty Yamaha. Uh, what else? It has something else in it too. That's, I think it's got like two or three. Yeah, two or three things in it. was going to do a cap on a full recap on this but I'm I'm serious man these these caps look fantastic there's a little bit of stuff there I wonder if I can just get that up real quick with I thought this was going to be a longer video with this recap and stuff, but I guess not. All these caps look good. I guess this is more going to be a small repair compared to a big one. Okay, let me look over that over top of it here and just see if I see any more shite. Oh, that looks good. So besides this, uh, besides this RAM chip back here behind the cart connector and that one cap and a couple of the small surface mount resistors here that were a little corroded from whatever spilled inside it, yeah, no problems. Okay, I would say, I would say that is nice and clean. Yeah, well, I would say that is good to go. Well, I don't really see anything 
no dust, no anything. Um, maybe a little bit, sorry, maybe a little bit right there. Other than that, yeah, that looks good. That looks really, really good. All right, let's move on to uh, let's move on to the other board here. Just get rid of uh, but wait for now. Move that off to the side. I wonder if our switch made it through the night. Sure seems like it. So let's get rid of the crap on this board. Again, there's not much. Looks like there's a little bit more, probably because of the open tray. Yeah, there's a there's a little more in here, but it's probably just from the way the tray is. But even still, it's all light. <laughs> Super simple. I am really hoping that lid switch works, though. God, that was a pain in the ass. I'm not going to lie, that probably took me... Oh, geez. Hour and a half. Because I didn't want to break the lid of the switch, and I didn't want to break the switch, and I didn't want to lose, you know, the spring and everything inside. Even though I lost the whole fucking switch in the garbage because it flung. Oh, yeah, we are good to go. Looking fantastic. Let's actually get a Q tip for that. I'm telling this thing looks it barely used. I think it just got abused because it was never used a lot and just sat somewhere in somebody's closet and got knocked around and shit on Johnny I could come up with theories about stuff all day change my mind about a thousand times <laughs> that looks good yeah that looks real good really really good yeah that looks good okay so what should we do now? Um, I guess we can take a look at the laser. That's probably what we should do right now. Because <laughs> we're definitely going to have to clean this up. <clears throat> we'll bend that out of the way just a bit. Let's turn that off. Let's back you out. Now, yeah, I know this is going to be dirty, but, I mean, oh, fuck it, let's get rid of some of this right now, because this is filthy. That, we are definitely going to need, whoops, where's the other, uh, where did it go? <laughs> see one there, see one there, where did the other one go? That's weird. These, uh, these gears are going to need to be lubed. The rail is going to need to be lubed. You can see where it's all...
full of crap here on the end. Just take your time when you're doing this. It's actually not hard to take this apart. I can already see how this is done. I mean, you take this off. I don't know if you can see that or not, but you can see where the rail is. You literally just move that out, slide the pin through from the other side, forward this way. It pulls the whole thing apart. You take the laser out. It's super simple, but I don't think that's even necessary right now. I said it worked no problem. It, it did have a problem. That's going to start getting full of shit here like that. Ah, that's old. Old grease and everything. Uh, I like to use, a lot of people don't like it, but I like to use marine grease. because it can take a beating. So that is the top of Yes, that's the top there. Okay. Yeah, I should probably tear that down. Let's get a Q-tip in here. It's probably going to be better. Get rid of all this old grease here. There's not much on here anyway, so... I mean, it is... God. Fuck, damn near 30 years old. Yeah, see, it's, I mean, it's filthy, but uh, we'll get her. This is just from having an open shell. Which, I mean, I'm glad it has this, like, the Model 2 instead of a mechanical drive. Because I tell you right now, I... That Model 1's mechanical drive is... Oh, it's god-awful. It's just... It's such a pain in the ass to work on. It's always failing. Constantly failing. I mean, it's a it's a chore just to keep it up and running in your own collection. It's like if you don't use it, you'll lose it. And that's looking good. That's looking real good. Maybe I should take that off. Yeah, let's take that off. Um, looks like it's just three screws holding it together. Definitely don't want to lose those, even though I probably have a ton of screws that'll match that, but... See any rust in the bottom there? That looks good. 
This will give me better access to the rails and stuff. Shit that's on here. Yeah, replacing the laser on this is super, super simple. You literally just bend that up, and slide that rail right out the front, put a new laser on, away you go. Uh, according to the interwebs, um, apparently you can still find parts for these from JVC. I don't quite know if that's the truth, but I've seen that in more than one spot. looks good. That looks really good actually. Yeah, that looks really good. Okay. Give me two seconds. Let me go upstairs. Let me grab the marine grease because I was using it for the Daytona pedals upstairs because they were damn near frozen solid. And we're gonna put a little bit on. Uh, we're gonna put a little bit on here, a little bit on here, a little bit on there, 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 a little bit on the rail, and uh, we should be good to go. I could probably almost test this right out of its case. Shouldn't even have to. Shouldn't even have to be in its case to test it. So, uh, okay, I'll be right back. All right, let's, uh, let's clean the spindle here. Let's make that nice and pretty. I'm trying to get as much dirt off it as possible. I can see that it's, this is scratched up as well, but it's just the spindle. No big deal. Somebody th tossing discs at it? Like, what the hell? I don't know what the hell I don't they were doing there. Um, let's see if we can't get in here with this. Yeah, you probably can't see a shh fucking thing I'm doing. I'm just trying to get the crap out of the center part there. Stupid left-handed people blocking the camera view. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, that's probably as good as it's gonna get. Yeah, it is scratched up, jeez. Like I said, that's probably as good as that's gonna get. Let's go ahead and add some lubricant to the rails. Now you 
don't need very much at a time. I'm going to work with what you have here. And we'll work the, work the sled up. start to get some on here. Now, what I will use for that, because I don't want uh, I don't want fibers all through there, is I will just use the end of a flathead Just got to put just a little bit on, just, just a little bit, and that will work its way through. Ooh, that's a lot. Shit. <laughs> You don't need a ton like that. That's an absolute shitload. So we can get rid of that. That is more than enough. It does not have to be perfect because that thing will, it'll start making its way all the way around. I'm just going to use my finger to wipe it away. Oh yeah. If you really need to, you can take these gears apart. They literally just pop on and off each other. That should do it. That should. That should do it. Because you don't need much of this. This is, like I said, this is marine grease. This is some wild stuff. Oh, yeah. That's good to go. Oh, yeah. We're good. We're good. We don't need anything more than that. That's all we're going to use. Okay, so I thought about it, about testing it outside. Well, that's going to be damn near impossible because this is not magnetic. So I can't put um, one on top to hold it in place. Otherwise, the disc will just spin out of control. So we do need to at least put it into the case. So if you give me two seconds, I will go upstairs. I'll clean this crap off. 
Um, oh, the shielding. No, we need to figure out what we're doing with the shielding. Give me two seconds here. So what exactly are we going to do about this? Um, well, for starters, we already lost this bottom half. I mean, that's just there's nothing we can do about it. So let's, uh, let's see if we can't get rid of the rest of this. Because that is just, it's its toast. I mean, it's just literally flaking apart. So there's not much we can do about that. No, should I just cut it? Yeah, maybe I should just cut that. If it's going to cut properly. really not much we can do about that is just I might as well just pull that right off and that's just tape anyways this part right here we will cut back might as well cut it back all the way back there this we should be able to clean up Top part. Well, I guess we'll figure that out in about two seconds, won't we? It's getting there. It's getting there. It's better than it, better than it was. There's still sh schmoo all over it. Um, do is get the majority off it so it's not flaking and even rust throughout the machine. Some of this might be permanent, some of it might not be. But it does look like it's coming up. It does look like it's coming up pretty good. much better I mean it is it is a little stained but I mean what the hell are you gonna do about it unless you can replace this with something I said they sold this Yeah, that 
that's awesome. Okay, that's much, much better. Now, um, as for this top part here, front row, because I would like to keep this here. You know, this goes up under and screws into it. Um, let me think about this for a second. Okay, let's start putting this thing back together. Now, um, I'll show you what we did with the shielding here in a second. We do need to, let me move this onto my lap here for a second. Let's, uh, let's get the laser back over here because we do need to put the top back on here. Did we not pull out three screws? We did, right? But yet there's one, two, three, four. Is this back one to hold, hold it in place? Hang on here one second. Let me go back and see what's going on here. You see what I'm saying here? One, two, three, four. We only pulled three screws out. Yeah, for some reason this one back here was blank. It was just one, two, three. But uh, I think that's quite odd. But it is what it is. Yeah, and I can tell. Yeah, actually, if I look, there's uh, apprentice marks. One, two, three, where it was removed, but there was nothing on this one. Huh. Strange. Very strange. Threw me off for a second there. I'm like, uh, what? Okay. So now that we've got this together, we can go ahead and uh, start rebuilding this machine here. Okay. Good to go there. Let's uh, move that off to the side again. Let's back you way out. Put you way over here. Get you sat up like that. Get that beautiful thing right in front of us here. Okay. Let's remove the lid here. Again, this is still a little greasy from. I forgot about that. Let me take care of that first. That's better. That's much better. Okay. So, uh, the first thing we need to do is we need to lay the shielding in. And that's going to go. Just like that. And that'll allow me to flip this up. You can see where we cut this out because it's just too fucked up. So that gets put over top of that. There we go. And that sits just like that. And that's enough to bend that out just like that and lay just like that. Okay, perfect. So uh, let's, let's make sure that's sitting right. It is. Okay, that's sitting right. That's sitting right. We'll use that light to hold it in place. Good stuff. Okay, so let's um, 
Let's drop the small board in first, the uh, driver's side here. No, let's drop the main board in first. And that's what we'll do. We'll drop the main board in first. That'll go like that, that'll go like that. So what exactly is stopping it? Like that right there. Get over there. There we go. Doesn't want to sit exactly flush yet. It should, there we go. Shit, I was going to say, it should just drop right in. Okay, that's that, that's that. Now this here, that just sits like that, right? Yes. Yes, that just sat just like that. Now we'll drop the uh, karaoke board, interconnect board, audio out board, just like that. That sat right in there perfectly. Now, as for these uh, interconnects here, that is sitting flush, that is sitting flush. Everything's sitting good, right? Yep. They should just snap into place. Good stuff. I'm happy with that. Uh, this should be enough to test it. So we can drop the um, laser in, connect here, connect the ribbon, and then we should just be able to just put the top on, just lay the top on and see what happens. So, okay. Let's go ahead and Drop the laser in. We should give the laser a quick clean. Um, let me get on top of this here. That should be pulled up in there. We'll use a little tool here just to pull the The rubber through. Nope, 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 that's backwards. That's got to come this way first and then in. here first like that and then these can be pulled through pulled through pull through and pull through perfect Power. And ribbon cable in. Locked. Good stuff. Let's get, um, Maybe cables.
The only reason I'm not screwing it in or anything yet is I just want to make sure we've got no issues with anything. Good, 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 good. Everything's good there. Everything's good there. Um, power. Oh, do I have to use that funky one for now until I can come up with a uh, solution for that? Let's go this way with it. Okay. Now you can, let's get a uh, controller. Controller in. You can see the TV. Yes. And let's apply power. So the lid switch is open, and that's the way it should be. So the lid switch is working. Now if I touch this, we should. Yep, into a reset, perfect. It's gonna say there's no disc. Yep, good. If I do it again, it should reset again. Excellent. Lid switch is working. Power that off. We'll throw a Genesis game in here. Excellent. Awesome. Not a clue why my camera keeps stopping. Anyways, all I did was stop the Sonic Pinball and put the lid on. I haven't even tested it yet. I can't even find my, uh, my snatcher. So hang on here one second. Okay, I got it. So in it goes. Let's close the lid. Oh, let's leave it open. Let's make sure that that does not spin. And it doesn't. Excellent. Now... I don't like that. What is it having a hard time accessing here? No, oh, it is spinning. Hang on here one second. I'm just going to clean the laser. Okay, let's try that again. I may have just touched it with my finger when I was cleaning the laser. So let's try that again. No. Is this for real, for real? I can hear it seeking. Huh, what do we got going on here all of a sudden? Yeah, it is not liking that. Let me go get a real Sega CD game here. I don't know why this would be having trouble all of a sudden. Hang on. All right, so we are having a serious issue here. Uh, this thing will just not boot a disc anymore. I don't know if we just saw the end of life there, you know, when it was having trouble reading the end of the disc. And when I clean the laser, if it was just like kaputs, like that's 
that's done. It's just, it's toast. And we're probably going to need a new laser. I tried to adjust the potentiometer on the laser itself and got nothing. To me, by my eye, please don't look into the laser like I do. It looks like it's out of focus. So I don't know if maybe the uh, the focus and the gains and stuff here have been, I don't know if I moved them or what. I don't think I did. I mean, they're pretty tough to move. Like you can't just do it by, by hand or by bumping them. But I mean, it, it could happen. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to see if messing with these while it's on, if I can't get the game to start reading. I don't know if I don't know if it's just if it's just toast or not, and it could be, and I might have to order a new laser here. Okay, I think I got this finally figured out here. Um, so we'll start from a power off. Uh, we will hold down the lid switch here. See, I don't like how it still starts off pretty slow there, but it does. Now see, I think it should already have found the disc already, but I mean, it's not bad. Um, it may need a little bit of tweaking still, but let's go to game and let's just see how it reacts to um, playing the full motion video of this. See, I think it should have found that already. It should have started the game already. I still don't think this is perfect. Yeah, it is struggling. Yep, yeah, it is. What's funny is if I go to music, I can play, I can go through all the tracks all the way to 78. 79 is nothing. And it finds it no problem. It locked up, didn't it? Yep, I got a feeling it locked up. No, here it goes. Yeah, there's no way it should take that long. Oh, Lord. Yep, this thing is... Uh, something has gone really, really awry here. And I am not sure what it is. Okay, we're going to stop that because that is definitely not right. I thought we had it. <laughs> 